Hi, I'm Tony Gomez, and uh, I'm a little bit of everything at La Flor Dominicana Cigars. Most famous person in my phone book, uh, my dad. <laughs> I think it's a disappointing answer. Um, Ed Reed does follow me on Instagram, though, and I think you Brits might not know who he is, but he's one of the greatest football players of all time, and that's football, not soccer. Pepperoni and ricotta cheese. Tough to beat. This is always a great question. Um, I like to pick people whose brains I could pick, like, you know, just fascinating people. And I think I would go with uh, Hunter S. Thompson, um, Elon Musk, and my grandfather on my mother's side, who I never actually got to meet because he passed before I was born. But based on everything I've ever heard about him, like, you know, his worldview and the way he thought and, and, and everything, he seemed like a fascinating dude and I would have really loved to be able to chat with him. This is a really good one. It actually got me to like, like think about myself deeply <laughs> and I'm not entirely sure what they would think, but I think a lot of them would be like, ah, I knew there was something weird about that guy. And <laughs> so I, I don't know. I don't know. Nice try, but I'm taking that one to the grave with me. You've been on Reddit, haven't you? Um, I've been asked this before, and I definitely would go with the hundred uh, duck-sized horses. So I think you just hit him with a river dance and kick the shit out of him, you know? So, so there's two ways to look at this. Like one, one would be physically, right? So I'm six foot eight or two meters. Uh, you know, I've always vibed with the lyric from Scar Tissue from the Chili Peppers. With the birds, I share this lonely view, you know, and that's me like out at a bar or in a crowd or anywhere. Um, or I guess a giraffe. But if we're talking personality, then I, I would say maybe a wolf. I've actually thought about this one a lot in uh, previous occasions. And I think no matter what your goal might be with your superpower, whether it be nefarious or for the good of humanity or whatever, I think mind control will get you there, right? So I think mind control is probably the best thing. I mean, that, that's a little bit boring. So like, I'm trying to picture it in like a Marvel supervillain kind of way. And to make it a little more specific, let's say, and this is a little strange, but it makes sense. Let's say you could mind control spiders only, right? You could do whatever you wanted. Let's say you walk up to the White House with an army of a million Black Widow spiders. They're going to let you in. There's nothing I could do. <laughs> so anyway, mind control. Um, I'd be doing something creative. Uh, my, my first dream in life was to be a rock star. You know, I played a couple instruments. I was actually a writing major in college, so maybe something like that. And my most recent obsession would be graphic design so something creative or day trading which i'm like obsessed with the stock market now too so something like that first cigar is always right after breakfast with my coffee so usually about 8 30 in the morning uh i i am not one of these people that can smoke without eating i, I don't understand how people can do that uh i need to eat and i need to i need to eat before i smoke or else i i don't feel good so Right after breakfast, 8.30, basically every day, that's when I light up. 